I have a LG K51 here. I'm going to show you three ways to take a screenshot. Now the first way here is the way 99% of you guys are going to do it all the time. It's a two key combination. You're going to press and hold the volume down and power button. Press and hold both buttons for about one second. There you go. Do it again. Ready? Oops. One, two, three. Both buttons. Now this always pops up down here as well and you can delete it, edit it. If I click on the little pencil mark, you can go ahead and I mean you can crop it. We can crop whatever we want here. You can go ahead and write something on there. Anyways, I'll go ahead and click the check mark. Even if we just go ahead and just do this, oops, press and hold, it automatically will get saved directly to the uh, photos gallery right here. And you can see you should have a new folder here called screenshots right here, okay? Also, I'm gonna show you how to do a scroll capture. So for instance, if you're on like a website or the browser here and you got tons of information on here, you, instead of taking like multiple screenshots of this, and then here and here, what we can do is we can go ahead and take a screenshot again. And this little down arrow right here, we can tap on that. And now this is gonna take, it's gonna move by itself. And then we can stop wherever we want, just tap to stop. So that's like halfway of this entire uh, website here. Let's go ahead and tap on that, okay? Now, I can edit or whatnot, or I can just go ahead and tap on the uh, check mark right there. Now, if I go back into my photos gallery here, we can go back to screenshots. And that last screenshot I just took, you can see I took like half of that web page right there. Okay. So now, the second way to take a screenshot is if you just scroll down like this, and you have the screenshot button right here. Okay. You can go ahead and just tap on that right there. Or if you just slide down right here, you can see that it says screenshot. So we can do the same thing here. Just tap on it. And you can do the same thing here. You can edit, delete. You have a little down arrow, but that only works if you're able to scroll down. Even if you like you're in settings, you'll be able to scroll down if you want to take um, um, like one big screenshot. Okay, so that's the uh, second way to take a screenshot. Now the third way is using the uh, Google Assistant button here. If you just uh, press it, Take a, screenshot. Okay, taking a screenshot. Now mine's not taking a screenshot, but usually you ask it to take a screenshot, you have to wait like four seconds, it'll take a screenshot. I think I had to set mine up or T-Mobile did something with the Google Assistant here. I, actually, I have to unlock more Assistant features to get that working, but I have it working on my other phones. So pretty simple, right? Good luck.